At the height of the pandemic, many casinos were forced to close for business, but new data shows that foot traffic was redirected to online gambling and sports wagering. The surge, which has yet to retreat, is now causing concern after the state is also seeing an increase in calls to compulsive gambling help hotlines. Here in Jersey, calls to the 1-800-GAMBLER hotline have more than doubled from 2019 to 2021. Felicia Grondon, executive director of the Council on Compulsive Gambling of New Jersey, joins me to discuss the surge and why she now says young gamblers are a rising concern. Felicia, how bad is the online gambling addiction here in New Jersey? Well, it's significantly increased over the years, especially since after the pandemic. Uh, you know, a lot of people were gambling uh, who were seeking entertainment and an escape because they were uh, quarantined and they didn't have a lot to do. Right. Um, when we look at the number of calls to our 800 Gambler Helpline, uh, we found a total of about 10,984 calls were received from 2019 to 2020. Whereas in the following year, we had 27,483 calls to 800 Gambler, reflecting a 67% increase in calls. The, the problem is growing, and it's not one that is uh, as easily uh, noticeable as other addictions that um, people in our state experience. You know, Felicia, you touch on a really important point because advertisement, advertisements are no longer just on TV and radio. They're also online. So tell me about how online advertising is playing a part in online gambling. It's everywhere. The public is bombarded with offers for free bets, lines of credit, especially in the world of sports book. And these messages increase the likelihood of state residents to potentially develop a gambling problem. And for those who have recognized that they have a gambling problem, incessant advertising can be an accelerator for individuals to relapse and break their sobriety. So it plays a very, very big part in why people are gambling today. No, oh, absolutely. And uh, Felicia, are young gamblers now a concern? Most definitely. Um, you know, youth are very impressionable. Um, and society's perspectives of gambling has changed over the years. You know, years ago when I was growing up, uh, one could gamble either in Nevada or Atlantic City. It's not the case now. And studies have shown that when children gamble at a very young age, they're much more apt to develop a gambling problem later in life. So it's quite concerning. So then how do we fix all this? What restrictions now need to be put in place? I believe that the state of New Jersey needs to invest in public service announcements to warn the public of the dangers of developing a gambling problem, that it can become addictive. Another way of addressing the issue is to place limits on advertising, just like uh, alcohol commercials. And there should also be warning labels on online gambling platforms, as well as brick and mortar casinos that warn individuals that gambling can be addictive. Felicia Grondon, thank you so much for joining me to speak about such an important topic. Well, I thank you so much for taking the time to focus on this issue, which is a growing problem. And I encourage anyone that may be experiencing a gambling problem to call 1-800-GAMBLER. We're here for support, help, and treatment if you choose to receive it. And we're here to provide a, a compassionate listening ear. We're here to help those that are struggling. So thank you so much for this opportunity. We so appreciate it.